Hello creators and crafters and welcome! Today I'm going to share with you how I convert this CD tower into something that's actually relevant, usable, and functional. First, we're going to start by removing these screws to take this out. All right, there you go. Took out all 10 screws. Screwless, it's only $5, quite a steal. And the whole thing just comes right out, which obviously I can't do with one hand. So let me put this phone down and pull it out. Voila, it is out. This is empty. There you get to see one way to upcycle this awesome thing. Also, I figured you guys could really appreciate this setup. That's, that's me unscrewing it right there. All right, cool, cool. Have this blade. Kind of want to just, oh my God, why is that so rewarding? Ooh, so much easier. I hate peeling stuff off. Oh, oh no, am I gonna damage it? Oh God, this isn't working, let me stop. All right, well, it was a good start to peeling this label off. If you don't have one of these, you should get one of these. Maybe not good for wood, but for other things, way better than peeling it off. Oh, very rewarding. Now we need to collect our cleaning materials and wash this piece down because it's very dusty. Sometimes simply washing a piece can give it a whole new life and that was the case here. I'm using Murphy's wood soap and warm water with a washcloth to remove all of the dust and any stale odors. This is currently the water closet. Some not really decorated. Every time I decorate it, I end up taking the decorations and using them somewhere else. So currently, this is a terrible little toilet paper holder. I'm gonna replace it with the other one. Zero, magic, three, two, one. The new and improved toilet paper holder is complete. This was a simple 30 minute DIY that anyone can do. I love upcycling items and reimagining them in a whole new light, especially when the final product makes life easier. All you need is some imagination and the right piece. Now that you've seen what I've created, I wanted to share some other ideas for upcycling DVD and CD storage towers that I found online that might work better for you. When I initially saw the CD rack at the thrift store, this was the inspiration I used to make it a toilet paper holder. I decided not to paint my piece because I liked the color of the wood, but in the future I might sand it down and bleach the wood out and paint the metal a lighter color and sand it a little to look reclaimed. But what I love here is the color combination that they used and this holds a ton of toilet paper. What I really love about this piece is the stain color of the wood and how they used the white milk glass as contrast to the color of the wood. This is really, really cute, and it's a simple way to convert this piece. This was really, really cool because they totally reimagined it into something very unique that I never would have thought of, and how clever that they used empty CD holders to act as shelves. So I really like that these are here like this. The fact that they backlit it is super cool, and they really didn't have to do too much to it. I mean, they left the wood blonde, and that's a really cool way to display your accessories, especially as a man. I think that this is really like cool. I love this piece. This was a CD holder. You can still see they left them in there. And this person said in their tutorial that they had these frames made by their local frame shop, which if you have the capability, you can make them at home and make little doors. And I just love these doors so much. And the chicken wire has a really cute farmhouse vibe, but you could change that chicken wire with anything of your choice. And there it is closed 
nose so that you can see just how adorable it is. And look at these little knobs. It's just too cute. This CD rack was changed into this actual shelf. So what's really cool here is they put legs on the bottom and they just painted it. So I know that they primed it and then painted it, cut some legs, painted the legs and installed the legs on. So it actually makes it look like a mini little shelf. And I think that's really cool if you have a small kitchen and a really tight space to get extra storage in your kitchen. But it really works for any small space. And I can see this doubling in a bathroom for extra storage. This was really cool. So you can see this was a DVD tower. They just took the shelves out, they painted everything, and then they cut a piece of plywood, stained it for the back, attached that, and then it's just this really, really cute little shelf. You could flip it on its side and put it on the wall, or you can keep it on the ground. You could even put legs on something like this, but it's just a really cool way for something very simple, and it looks nice and modern. This was just so cute. They made a Lego dollhouse out of this, and I just thought it was so cute and so clever. You could even use it for your smaller toys, just maybe Kelly's for Barbies or anything that's small and would fit in this space that's appropriate. But I really loved what they did here. And then this also looks like it came from this piece. So I'm not sure which one that went to as the before, but I just love that they put it in their craft room and they made these cute little banners on it, which I think would even be really adorable on the Lego house one. But it acts as excellent storage in a really tight space or for really small things that are kind of hard to store and really convenient too because if you're using these items all the time you want easy access to them and I think that these shelves reimagined into something where you can easily access the items in it because you're using them all the time is a really really efficient use of not only your space but your time as well. This was hilarious to me I had to add this in they literally just took a tile put on this CD rack and they just stuck it in their shower and now they have a shampoo bottle I mean if you have one of these in your house you can get tiles really really cheap and for four dollars you could make an extra piece of storage for your bathroom and I think that this is like one of the most common ones that I see and talk about saving money I love that they took the wire for this and just put all of their earrings on it and stuck it on the wall I mean I have tons of earrings and I can see this being very useful but this is just a nice cheap way to store your earrings because you know those earring towers can get really expensive. This was super clever too. So this person, you can see they're in the process of converting their bathroom, but I know a lot of bathrooms that look just like this. I mean, one of my best friends, her bathroom is exactly like this with the tub over here and the sink and vanity here. And she definitely needs extra storage space, especially on your counter. You just run out of space and this keeps your counter nice and tidy and clean and all the stuff that you use often very easily accessible. So this was also super clever and I'm actually really impressed that someone reimagined it that way. Here, they just took this CD or DVD tower and rolled up their towels and stuck it in there and you have a useless corner in your bathroom that maybe you can't really put much in there. You can get a whole drawer of towels out of the drawer so that you can use that space for other things and just shove your towels right in here, which I loved that. This, I just had to add in there because it was super cute. It doesn't have anything to do with it, but hey, I mean, if you guys find a suitcase and you want to convert it. This is perfect. This made me laugh so hard. They just made a ramen noodle tower. So I was thinking maybe anybody who has ramen noodles in their life and you eat ramen all the time that you could do this. And it's not only very functional, but kind of hilarious. Even if you had this item in your pantry holding your ramen noodles, it might be something that's for you. This was super cool. So you can see that they had a very small piece of wall. I think that this is a DVD tower because they are a bit taller. Um, might be CDs on their side, but they just stuck it on the wall. It was a nice piece already. It had good lines to it. And then they used this down here for a towel. So I'm thinking that this is in the person's kitchen and I love how they're just displaying bottles on it. And it seems very functional because it's holding these towels as well. And it's a great use for like a really tall, skinny space. And we all have that tall, skinny wall that could definitely use some extra storage. This was just so perfect. I remember these when I was a kid growing up, we had these. I was even thinking that this might have been a VHS holder at some point. But what's really cool about it is you have a whole herb garden. So you could put it inside by a window, you could have it on your porch. And herb gardens tend to take up a lot of space and be, can be kind of expensive to create one. And this just seemed like the most affordable way to have your cake and eat it too. So you can have an herb garden. It's nice and tall. Everything's getting a ton of sun because it's slightly angled. And it's just so perfect 
for a tight space yet again. This was really clever. So they took it and installed it on the wall. And I wanted to show you that you could reimagine it horizontally as well as vertically. So they just put it in a kid's room, stuck little shoes in it, but this could go in any single room and really just be applied to anything in general. This is a tea tower. It's so cute. So they took this little tower, they have their teacups in it, a little tea towel and just, just some cute little tchotchke. They painted it, they added this decal on the side or they hand painted it. And I just thought that this was a really clever way to paint one and display your teacups in. This definitely goes with the teacup. So coffee bar, which coffee bars are so in right now. And where do you put all your mugs? I mean, you could put them on the wall, but they reimagined this into holding all of their coffee pieces. So this was really cool too. I definitely loved that. And I thought for a tall skinny space, squeeze that in there and you could definitely get more use of your square footage in your home. I laughed when I saw this because I love these plants. This is either philodendron or pathos. You just stick your plant down here and it's a vine and it grows its way up and it would get nice and full. I really liked the way that they didn't do anything to the tower. They just stuck a plant in it and they wove <laughs> their plant vines through it. And I just thought that kind of added a lot of greenery to a space and I really liked it. So I don't know how you feel about this, but I thought it was a clever, clever way to uh, transform this piece. And then these, I'm pretty sure I thought that these were DVD towers, but they're actually CD towers. And I think that maybe even Ikea sells them. So this person put it behind their door because you can see they fit perfectly and they have this little useless area of space. But talk about converting a tight space into like a very functional space. So you could even do this maybe in your garage and store a bunch of like spray paint cans or little paint cans or stain cans. I really love this and I thought it was an extremely clever use of these particular towers. You can also convert a tower to hold your paint and you can use the slots where the CDs go to make shelves in. So you don't even have to cut shelves out of wood. You can just literally use a CD case. I mean, obviously <laughs> if you want to use that CD, take the CD out, but this was a really good way to store all the person's paint. And I think in the future, I might even be doing this. This was hilarious. I love that it was Barney, but Again, super simple. They just wrapped around a DVD some pretty paper and then they slid the DVDs as shelves into the slots and they can make them as adjustable as they want tall or short to store all the stuff in their bathroom. And it's a very clever way to kind of showcase not only your nail polish, but make it easily accessible. And again, see what you have. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And I hope that this quick video inspired you to get crafting. If you like this video, let me know and feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.